Imagine a computer so powerful it can solve problems that would take today's best supercomputer thousands of years in just a minute. In 2019, Google's quantum computer, Sycamore, performed a calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer, called Summit, 10,000 years to complete. This achievement marked the first demonstration of quantum supremacy, where a quantum computer solved a problem that no classical computer could efficiently solve. While this result is impressive, the specific problem solved by Sycamore had no practical use. It was mainly designed to show that quantum supremacy is possible. Fast forward to 2024, IBM introduced Quantum Heron, the most advanced quantum processor, and Qiskit, the cutting-edge software driving this revolution. Although we're still in the earliest stages, experts believe that once the technology matures, it could solve real-world problems like cracking today's encryption methods or advancing drug discovery that are currently impossible to solve with classical computers. This leaves us at an exciting but uncertain juncture. We have glimpsed the potential of quantum computers, but the true revolution is still to come. Hi everyone and welcome to this session. Today we are diving into the world of quantum computing and what you should know about it. Quantum computing is a mind-bending field of technology that's making waves across industries. If you have ever wondered what is quantum computing, why it matters, how AI plays a role, or what is the role of a computer scientist, you're in the right place. And trust me, stick around because by the end of this video, you may change the way you think about technology and you may want to think about investing or getting in the field of quantum computing. Before we jump into quantum computing, let's quickly cover how normal computers work. Your personal computer, laptop, or phone runs on bits, which are tiny pieces of data that can either be zero or one. Every app, game, website you use is built by combining thousands or millions of these bits to process information. Now imagine a new kind of computer, one that doesn't just use zeros and ones. Instead, it uses some call, something called qubits. Here's the cool part. A qubit can be both zero and one at the same time. This is thanks to a mind-bending principle in physics called superposition. So what exactly is qubits and how does it work? Qubits are created by manipulating quantum particles like protons, electrons, or atoms, or by engineering a system that mimics quantum behavior, such as superconducting circuits. To function properly, qubits must be kept extremely cold to reduce noise and prevent errors caused by decoherence. Different types of qubits are used in quantum computing today, each with unique strengths. Let's cover some of these. For example, superconducting qubits operate at ultra-low temperature, offering high speed and precision. Trapped ion qubits are valued for their long coherence times and accuracy. Quantum dots use single electrons, promising scalability with existing semiconductor technology. Protons enables long-distance quantum communications and cryptography. And neutral atoms controlled with lasers excel in scaling operations. What makes qubits truly powerful is their ability to exist in superposition holding multiple states at once. This allows quantum computers to solve problems in ways classical computers can't. There is a great example offered by IBM to better understand the concept. Imagine standing in the middle of a maze. A classical computer would brute force its way out, testing every possible path one at a time. A quantum computer, on the other hand, uses the unique properties of qubits, like quantum interference, to test probabilities and reveal the solution more efficiently. Think of it like a bird's eye view of the maze. Quantum computers use overlapping waves of probability to eliminate wrong paths and highlight the right one, solving complex problems faster than ever imagined. 
Understanding quantum computing requires understanding of four key principles of quantum mechanics, which are superposition, entanglement, decoherence, and interference. The superposition is the state in which a quantum particle or system can represent not just one possibility, but a combination of multiple possibilities. Entanglement is the process in which multiple quantum particles become correlated more strongly than regular probability allows even if they are apart in distance. Decoherence is the process in which quantum particles and systems can decay, collapse, or change, converting into single state measurable by classical physics. Interference is the phenomenon in which entangled quantum states can interact and produce more and less likely probabilities. Now let's talk about why is quantum computing important in today's society. Why should you care? Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize industries like healthcare, finance, and logistics, and many more. In healthcare, quantum computers can simulate molecular interactions faster than before, potentially leading to breakthroughs in drug discoveries. In finance, they can optimize stock portfolios and financial models much faster than traditional systems. And in logistics, they can manage insanely complicated systems like the global supply chain with greater precision. The world is becoming more connected and data-driven, and quantum computing is the key to solving some of our most complex problems. Now let's talk about the role of AI in quantum computing. You might be wondering, where does AI fit into all of this? Well, quantum computing and AI are match made in heaven. AI relies heavily on data and quantum computers can process that data faster than anything we have seen before. Imagine training complex machine learning models in minutes instead of weeks. AI algorithms could also become more powerful by leveraging quantum-powered optimization techniques, unlocking new capabilities in everything from self-driving cars to natural language processing. As interest and investment in AI and machine learning grow, researchers are pushing these technologies to their limits, challenging existing hardware and driving up energy demands. Quantum algorithms offer a promising solution, potentially analyzing data sets in entirely new ways and accelerating certain machine learning tasks. AI helps build quantum systems, AI can optimize quantum algorithms, AI and quantum can be the new frontiers in research. So it's not just about powering machines, it's about shaping the future. Now let's talk about the ethical consideration and what should we watch out for. The ethics of quantum computing is just as important, if not more so, than its technological development. Quantum computing brings immense potential, but with great power comes great responsibility. Quantum computers could break encryption methods with use today, arising serious privacy and security concerns. There is also the risk of accelerating inequalities if only a few big companies or countries control this technology. It could widen the gap between those with access to advanced tech and those without. It's essential that we build this future responsibly, ensuring fair access and new security measures to protect individuals. Now let's talk about the role of computer scientists, the most important part. So what is the role of a computer scientist in the quantum era? Simply put, computer scientists are the architects of this future. They design the algorithm that run on quantum systems, build software frameworks, and ensure that classical and quantum systems work together seamlessly. Quantum computing isn't just about hardware. It's about creating the right tools, languages, and protocols to unlock its full potential. Whether it's solving global problems or advancing AI, computer scientists will be at the forefront, turning this dream into reality.